in the quietude of contemplation, ancient sages and modern physicists converge on a singular truth. The reality we perceive is but a shadow of a vaster existence. This truth echoes in the hallowed halls of temples and the silent expanse of laboratories alike, where the inner eye serves as the beacon, guiding us beyond the mundane. It whispers a profound secret to see through the inner eye, is to witness the universe not as a bystander, but as a creator. Plato's world of forms and the realm of quantum fields Though emerging from vastly different times and schools of thought, whisper a similar language. They narrate tales of a reality far beyond the tangible and mundane, where the very fabric of existence is woven from polarities and dualities that perform an intricate cosmic dance. In this dance, opposites don't just coexist. They are entwined, each giving meaning and context to the other, revealing a profound and interconnected unity. The world of forms, as envisioned by Plato, is a transcendent realm of perfect archetypes, of which the physical world is merely a shadow. In this realm, every concept and object we perceive in the material world has an ideal, pure form. This philosophical vision suggests that beyond our fluctuating imperfect realities lies a stable, eternal truth. It's a realm where the true essence of things exists, untainted by the imperfections and transience of the physical world. In parallel, the quantum fields of modern physics describe a reality where particles and waves, matter and energy, are not distinct entities, but different aspects of the same phenomena. In this quantum world, particles exist in a state of potential until observation, and the act of observation itself influences their state. It's a realm that defies the classic laws of physics, where the very act of measuring alters the measured, and reality is not fixed, but probabilistic and interrelated. The inner eye, that deep, intuitive understanding which transcends ordinary perception, discerns the dance of these polarities. It sees that what we often describe as apposites are, in fact, interconnected aspects of a greater whole. This perception goes beyond intellectual understanding to a deep, visceral knowing. It reveals a universe where creation is not separate from destruction, but is instead a part of the same cycle of existence, joy and sorrow, light and darkness, chaos and order. All are bound together in an eternal embrace, each giving rise to and defining the other. This understanding urges us to see beyond the apparent separateness and oppositions of our world. It invites us to recognize the divine unity that underlies all dichotomies. In this unity, the distinctions between good and bad, right and wrong, begin to blur, giving way to a more nuanced and holistic understanding of existence. We start to see life, not as a series of isolated binary events, but as a continuous flow where every experience, every moment, is intrinsically connected to the whole. By perceiving the world through this lens, we are called to a deeper engagement with life. We become more attuned to the subtle interplay of forces that shape our reality. We learn to embrace the full spectrum of experience, understanding that the challenges and sorrows we face are as much a part of the divine dance as the joys and triumphs. This perspective doesn't negate the realities of pain and suffering, but instead places them within a larger context of growth and evolution. The narratives of our lives are not written in the stars, but etched in the sands of imagination. Pioneers in every field, from Einstein to mystics, who tread the path less traveled, 
recognized imagination as the canvas of existence. The inner eye empowers us to be the architects of our destiny, to mold the ethereal clay of our thoughts into a tangible reality. It invites us to close our physical eyes to the chaos of the world and open our spiritual vision to the possibilities that dance in the realm of thought. There exists a singular, ephemeral moment in the vast continuum of existence, a fleeting instant that, though brief, holds the power to alter the course of a life. It's the moment when the inner eye, the profound seat of wisdom and insight within us, stirs from its slumber and fully awakens. This awakening is far from a simple occurrence. It's a profound transformation that marks the transition from seeking to seeing, from yearning to understanding. In this sacred metamorphosis, the individual undergoes a fundamental shift in perception and identity. It's a realization that shatters the illusion of separateness, the understanding that one is not merely a drop in the ocean, but the entire ocean contained in a drop. This revelation is not just about recognizing a unity with the vastness of life, but also acknowledging the immense potential and depth within oneself. It's a recognition that each person is a microcosm of the universe, containing within them the same mysteries and wonders that span the cosmos. As this inner eye opens, the world is no longer seen as a chaotic and confusing maze, but rather as a labyrinth rich with meaning and purpose. This labyrinth doesn't trap but guides. With each twist and turn, offering a deeper layer of understanding and a broader perspective, the journey through this labyrinth is not a straightforward path, but a series of experiences and realizations that build upon one another, leading the individual to greater wisdom and enlightenment. In this new state of being, what once appeared as dead ends or insurmountable obstacles are now seen as necessary parts of one's journey. Every end is perceived as a new beginning an opportunity for growth and transformation. The challenges and trials become lessons and stepping stones, guiding the individual ever deeper into the heart of the labyrinth where the most profound truths reside. This moment of awakening is deeply personal and unique to each individual. For some, it might come through a sudden epiphany or a profound spiritual experience. For others, it may arise slowly, the result of years of contemplation, study, and personal growth. Regardless of how it occurs, the result is the same, a shift from living as a passive participant in the world to an active, conscious co-creator of one's reality. The awakened individual sees life through a lens of interconnectedness and harmony. They understand that their thoughts, words, and actions ripple outwards, affecting the web of existence in ways seen and unseen. They move through life with a sense of purpose and intention, aware of the indelible mark they leave on the world and the legacy they are creating with each moment. The ancient scriptures and modern gurus alike speak of the power of stillness. It is in the silent dialogue with the self that the inner eye finds its vision. Like the psalmist who sought wisdom in the stillness of the night, we too are called to enter the inner sanctum of our being. Here, in the quietude where the chatter of the world fades into oblivion, the inner eye beholds the vistas of infinity and the maps of destiny unroll before it. To see through the inner eye is to embark on a profound journey beyond the physical senses, transcending the ordinary perception of flesh and bone, and embracing a deeper, soulful understanding of existence. This inner eye is not a literal visual organ, but a metaphorical lens of perception rooted in the soul offering insights that go beyond the tangible world. It's an ability to perceive the essence of life, to see the unseeable 
and to know the unknowable. This concept of the inner eye suggests that we are far more than just the sum of our physical components and life experiences. It speaks to a part of us that is eternal, unbounded by time or space, a flame of eternity that burns steadily within. This light, this enduring vision, is unfazed by the external world's ebbs and flows. It remains constant, illuminating the deepest truths of our existence and offering a glimpse into the universal truths that bind us all. The inner eye serves as the lantern of the spirit, a guiding light in the journey of life. It's akin to an oracle of the divine within, providing wisdom and insight that can lead us through the often foggy and uncertain paths we tread. This inner guidance is available to all but requires a quieting of the mind and a willingness to listen to the whispers of the soul. It's a different kind of seeing, one that involves intuition, feeling, and a deep sense of knowing. In the context of spiritual and personal growth, the inner eye represents the capability to look within oneself and perceive the inner workings of the mind and heart. It's about self-awareness and introspection, understanding the motives, fears, and desires that drive us. This inward looking is not a mere self-absorption, but a necessary step towards enlightenment, a way to gain clarity about our purpose and place in the world. Furthermore, the inner eye allows us to perceive the interconnectedness of all life. Through this lens, the artificial barriers of separation fall away, revealing a tapestry of existence where every being is linked in a delicate balance. It shows us that our actions and thoughts ripple outwards, affecting the world in ways we might not immediately see. In practical terms, cultivating the vision of the inner eye involves practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and contemplative prayer. These practices help quiet the noise of the external world and the chatter of the mind, allowing the soul's voice to emerge. It's about finding stillness in a busy world, making space for reflection and connection with something greater than ourselves. The inner eye is more than a metaphor. It's a call to a higher way of living and being. It invites us to rise above the mundane and the material, to seek wisdom and understanding that transcends the limitations of our physical existence. It urges us to look inward for guidance, to trust the eternal flame within, and to use this inner light to navigate the complexities of life with grace, compassion, and insight.